All right, we're down here at the Tuckahoe Engine Show. Hang on, wait for that stupid track. Well, I'm going to use that. And it's like the last day. And the reason I haven't videoed is because it's, it's just so loud. You know, you got these big machines come by and none of them have exhaust on them or nothing. And uh, I, waited, I waited for this day to do any kind of uh, videotaping because of the noise. Taking another one, you know, you got these young kids with... Uh, you know, nobody knows what a muffler is, so it's everything's loud, so. But what I did want to show you is, our buddy uh, Marilyn Mike here, he, he's got a display set up, and it's for checking the injectors on a diesel, right there. And I'm gonna stand back, and I'm gonna let him explain it. But like I say, it's so loud, but we might have to do it in between tractors. This looks All like a right. good time, Mike. Go ahead, what do we got here? Here's Mike, Marilyn How we Mike. Doing? Hey, I've seen you before, folks. There you go. So real engines still have spark plugs, so we're simulating compression ignition. So this flame is which you don't see the flame, it's just the heat. That simulates what happens inside a diesel engine when you compress that air, it's about 600 degrees. We're atomizing the fuel through an injector, and when it atomizes it basically catches on fire. So a pop tester allows you to bring the injector up, and the injector should go to pressure, open, and close. And it's mechanical, it's not the new days with all the electronics. So. Right now, I'll crank this gauge open. We should be able to see some pressure build. Okay, let me stand back. We're up to almost 2,000 PSI. And a weak injector, and this is a weak injector, knows how it just kind of pees out, you know? But if you put pressure on it, good hard pressure. Wow. And even then, it's not atomizing real good. Hold on, Mike. I think I lost half my mustache. Oh, you know how all you right. get behind some smoky trucks and you're all yeah. kind of white and your eyes uh -huh. are hurting? Right, right. That's when it's not burning clean. Like, that's not burning clean. Huh. That's what that white means, huh? Yep. Okay, very cool. What does it look like you don't have a good injector, do you? Um, I do. You give me a couple minutes, we'll come back to that. All right. I'm going to shut you down for a little bit, and uh, Mike's going to put a good injector in there and show, show you how it works. All right. Mike uh, switched out injectors. And uh, I switched sides here so uh, you get a better view instead of shooting into the light. But what he did is he, he changed this injector here. And what did you say it is? A pencil injector, Mike? Pencil injector because it looks like a pencil. Right. It's got a little point to it. It does. Um, John Deere tractors used a lot of these with a longer pencil. This short pencil was used on the old 350 diesel from back in the late 70s. Wow. It was a problem solver to our energy crisis but it had engineering flaws right okay let me stand back and uh, let's see what this, this is a good injector and this is what a good injector looks like wow wow that's quite a flame <clears throat> that's what's happening inside your engine every inside time a diesel if i let these guys know what a diesel is a lot of guys yeah. don't know the 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 concept of a diesel you know like a regular engine has spark plugs a diesel doesn't have spark plugs they, they have injectors and how does that create the, the spark to, uh, so there again, the compression of the air, when the piston goes up, it heats that air up, and then you inject the fuel directly into mm. the cylinder, and when it hits that 600 degree air, the mm -hmm. flame comes on. Just so much compression from the piston creates that heat. Good I'm enough at, to do I'm that. out of fuel again. Yeah. This thing sucks fuel when you got the foot heavy on the throttle. Oh, yeah. You know? <clears throat> no fuel savings here. You know how they talk about rolling coal. Yeah, yeah. I used to do up my dump truck when I, I didn't have a puff eliminator. And I'd take off from a bus stop and dump so much black stuff on there. I thought in Jersey you couldn't do that. No, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Alright. Very cool. Now you probably I, catch it just right, you'll see the fingers in the fire. Oh yeah? Alright, I'm gonna stand back and you get some more juice here. You're gonna put more this juice in there? This thirsty, man. You and got your foot all the way to the floor. And we'll see uh, the fingers at the end of the flame. Oh yeah, very cool. My two little hands. All right, there you go. Here we go. All right, Mike. Camera action. That's pretty cool. See you at the next show. Everybody, uh, everybody's gonna learn something from this, even me. All right, see you next show. Your, Jack your hair will grow back out. Don't worry. About Jack, it. Yeah, I only got one eyebrow. That's good enough. Yeah. All right. See you at the next show, buddy. See you.